other hand, is scrunching up her lips and very visibly trying to make heads or tails about of what we're doing. Hanako is looking on quietly, absorbing what we write and what I say. She usually has this same expression when the teacher speaks. It's a shame her attendance is so unreliable. With the way she takes in information, I think she'd do quite well in class if she actually followed the lessons regularly. I wonder if this might be why Shizune seemed so hard on her. Yeah, but you two skip class too, so stop it. Hey, Hanako, do, do you understand this? Misha looks at Hanako, but I suspect, 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 suspect. I suspect her hope is more to find a comrade in ignorance than rather than genuine help. I, I um, not not really. I I guess I'm getting better at this stutter thing, probably because it's somewhat unintentional. I'm surprised by how tense she is in answering, but she settles back down. She breathes out, and the way her upper body and head lower remind me of a deflating balloon. You okay? Uh, I could go over this a bit if you want. Hanako shakes her head slightly, but then again, I don't think she needs the extra ex extra explanation. Despite what she said. Misha quickly interjects, entirely oblivious, and I end up slowly going through how we ended up at one of our four, one of our results step by step. Times like this remind me that this kind of work may not be mechanical for everyone, but rather feels that way, but rather feels that way to me due to my grasp of the subject. It's a satisfying feeling. As Misha brings her bald fist onto an open hand in realization, I discover another nice feeling. My explanation got through to her, and she manages to work out the next equation by herself with a minimum of guidance. Throughout all of this, Hanako is unusually unresponsive. She's like frozen. She, her face has changed. Well, she's always like that. I just skipped that entire thing. She's normally very quiet, but one can still see her eyes roving periodically over the landscape of the classroom in front of her, or anxiously moving her hands in some way, or shifting her shoulders periodically. Right now, these small movements that I've gotten used to seeing are all missing. Someone not moving at all is definitely weird. Even Misha can tell there's something wrong. Hanako, are you sure you're okay? Y yes Are you sure? Don't... That's something you don't really want to say. Are you sure? I'm fine. A little more strong this time, but she turns away as she says it. Only makes me... It only makes me doubt her answer, yet at the same time, I can tell she doesn't want to talk about it further. Where is that sound coming from? I thought. I don't know. Having already had one very awkward conversation today that I'm still not fully over, I don't want to pursue the matter too much either. I'm just realizing this is like the longest class period I have ever been in, like storyline wise, reading out. I'm always somewhere else. Class usually takes like 10 seconds. Did I read that? Yeah, I read that. read that. We settled back into our routine, debating over our answers whenever a doubt comes up, but as time goes on, I notice that Hanako isn't talking at all. It's frustrating. She seems... she had made so much progress. It makes me a little angry at Shizune and Misha for undoing the surprise that Lily and I had wanted to keep a secret so much. I know I'm at fault, too. Maybe I could have kept it under wraps somehow. Yeah, you kind of, they kind of broke you way too easily. Shizune has noticed Hanako's silence and, as well. That's surprising. And is also getting antsy. That doesn't look like an, oh, it's got that weird sweat drop thing. I just called her it and I apologize. She has that little sweat drop. I can see it on her face. It's strange that... Even though she's deaf, Shizune has perceived Hanako's unusual quietness sooner than Misha. Hanako, you're being too quiet. You have to contribute too. Some Someday we might work on a bigger project, like the one that's so big it's worth celebrating afterwards. Like with ice cream or cake. 
you act like this, we won't take you along. I can tell they're trying to tease her to bring her out of her shell, but I don't think that kind of stuff, that kind of approach will work on Hanako. It'll just make her feel worse. Guys, don't tease her like that. You're gonna make it worse. Hee-chan, it's all in good fun. Shi-chan says she teases everyone anyway. Hanako does. What? They do back off, though, with Misha moving away from the issue by asking me another question again. On seeing how difficult the problem she is working on is, I don't know whether it was a skillful dodge or mere coincidence. It takes way more of our time than necessary because Shuzune keeps disagreeing with me while I'm trying to explain it to Misha. And Misha is quick to believe her over me, so quick in fact that she forgets to translate what Shizune is saying. Hey, the clock is kind of ticking down. We should speed up a little. Hee-chan, you sounded like a little like Shi-chan there. Just because I looked at my watch, jeez. Is that all it really takes? Time management, suddenly I'm the student council president? That's coming out a bit rude, but then again, they deserve it. Oh, jeez, what happened? I look at Hanako's desk to see how she's doing and freeze. Our papers are covered in equation, but Hanako's is only halfway there. It seems like she hasn't written anything in the past 20 minutes. Jeez, that is so sad. Hanako. When I realize that, I want to kick myself for how dumb I've been. I should have known that someone as fragile as Hanako wasn't going to brush off what happened so easily. But I've been too eager to move on from an awkward situation to notice. She has been slowly shutting down for the last half hour, and I had no clue. Her pen is still in her hand, but she doesn't slowly spin it around like she usually does. There isn't a single idle mo movement from Hanako. Only the fact that- Oh, she moved her mouth. Only the fact that she tries to inch away once she feels Shizune, Misha, and I looking at her tells me she's even still conscious. We look away, at least in my case. It's partly out of shame that it's gotten to this point. Though on the outside she is shut down almost completely, I know that is a different story on the inside. What kind of things could she be thinking about as she tries harder and harder to shrink into herself, as if willing it, willing it she could some, as if by willing it she could somehow disappear. Everyone is looking at her now, stealing quick glances in between putting the finishing touches on their work. Misha attempts to ask her what's wrong, but that only makes the problem worse. As if she weren't frozen to her seat, she probably would have run out of the classroom right now. Misha's questions are loud enough to be heard throughout the entire classroom, and it, for a second I'm ready to snap at her, because I can only imagine how much worse it's, gonna make, it's making Hanako feel. Of course, if I were to do that, it would only make the situation worse. I'd believe that Hanako had gotten stronger, and she has, but it wasn't enough, and I was too eager to believe it. Now she's terrified, alone in the middle of the classroom, and there's nothing I can do without drawing more attention to her. It's infuriating. Misha's worried, and even Shizune is biting her lip. None of us how to know how to deal with this situation, so I decide to call Matao. His judgment would probably be better than ours. No, don't call Muta, that's gonna make it even more awkward. Just take Hanako outside of the classroom. I look up and manage to catch his eye, silently motioning for him to come over. I want to make as little a fuss about this as possible, since if there's anything that I would that would make this worse, it's more attention being focused on her. I know that Hanako can see everyone staring at our group specifically at her, because they know that if there was a problem, it has to be her. Everyone knows her, and it's the first thing every anyone's mind would lead to. Her reputation for being a truant has marked her as an unusual person, even in, an, even in unusual Yamaku. Who knows how many times they have stared at her before. Maybe it's because she's seen the class staring at her so much that she fears their gazes like she does, cowering from them. The time it takes Matao to walk over to must be like an eternity for Hanako, and she l looks as if she's about to fall over. That's kind of creepy, Matao. Matao quietly b 
begins to ask us what's wrong before catching himself as he sees Hanako. Did we up did we upset her? Yeah you did. You two. You and you. You messed this up. Don't worry. Mitao bends down after calming Misha and looks intently at Hanako's face. Hi, Ikazawa. Can I help you at all? His voice is hushed and gentle. Everyone's acting so differently around Hanako now that the class has noticed something's wrong with her. Back off. She's mine. Hanako doesn't respond, so Mitao gently rests a hand on her shoulder. She starts shaking at his... Jeez Louise. She's just vibrating. But she won't even look up. Hanako continues to stare into the equations on her desk, her vision so unfocused that I doubt she even sees them. She's worse than before. I remember that not even an hour ago she was able to talk to him almost normally. Mattel grimaces a bit as he stands again. Now that his expression has changed, I can see that he wasn't exactly unaffected by what happened either. He takes a breath to settle himself before speaking in a very quiet voice. I'm a little impressed at how quickly he takes control of the situation. Well, he is a teacher, so... He knows what he's doing. Is that it? Nothing's wrong then? Mutao seems to say that to no one in particular. However, his words sound convincing, convincing enough that most of the people who were looking over at Hanako now turn away, getting back to their work. He gives a quick glance to his left and his and right. Several people at the desks around us are staring, still st staring curiously. But other than that, we seem to have escaped attracting, attracting too much attention.